Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel DJ and Kid. So just a quick video today to give you guys a update on the FOMC results. Um, so here we can see uh, the actuals have come out today and they are at 4.75%. So pretty much in line with forecast 4.75% as well, which is a 25 basis points increase over um, the previous reading. So um, yeah, pretty much in line with what the market kind of expected. And now let's see what the impact was on crypto. So if I load up CoinGecko, we can see right now the market is up 2.1% in the last 24 hours, trading at 1.1 trillion. And Bitcoin is close to 24,000. ETH is up around 1.64. Um, and pretty much, yeah, the market seems to be pumping at the moment, which is good. Um, obviously, you don't want to get overexcited just yet. But... Um, Generally, the market looks to be in a healthy position after the FOMC results did come out. So overall, it looks pretty positive. And um, if we just take a look at the charts here, looking at this on the hourly, Bitcoin on the hourly, um, you can see where pretty much um, we went down a few days ago. And um, after the results today, we've just literally been increasing. So overall, it looks pretty bullish out there. 50 EMA, 100 EMA, 200 EMA, all broken on the hourly and Bollinger Bands, we're trading currently at the top end of the Bollinger Bands, also on the higher end of the um, RSI on the one hour time frame. So potentially might have a little bit of a pullback before a continuation to the upside. Um, yeah, overall the market looks pretty good, pretty healthy. Um, do the same on Ethereum as well. Actually, just before I do that, let's take a look at this on a um, on a longer time scale. Maybe take, take a look at the eight hours. 8 hourly still trading above the um, 200 EMA and um, um, 150 EMA and also on the 8 hourly we're at the bottom of this stochastic RSI so potentially you know on a longer time frame we could be pushing up um, pushing um, more to the upside so on the 1 hourly we might have a little bit of a reset before we continue to the upside um, on the longer time frame we can see that the RSI is at the bottom here so we could potentially be heading up on that longer time frame there. Um, Ethereum, on the other hand, let's just load that up. Again, on the hourly, breaking um, all um, major EMAs, so 250 and 100, and literally after the um, kind of results today, the um, FOMC um, rate um, announcement, you can see that Ethereum's pretty much been on a tear up as well. So coming towards the upper end of the stochastic RSI as well, potentially a little bit of a reset and um, following the same direction as Bitcoin. But overall, um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good reading. And um, the markets reacted to, um, you know, the announcements that came out and seem to be pretty bullish at the moment. So overall, it looks pretty good out there. Um, yeah, so um, pretty good news um, today. We've got some big events coming up still. So I know there's going to be the... Um, um, some of the uh, big tech um, big tech companies that will be announcing their results um, this week as well. So obviously that might have a bit of an impact on the market if their results are not um, not as expected. Um, so yeah, but overall at the moment as it stands today, looks like a pretty good day in the market so far. And the um, FOMC results that came out today have pretty much had minimal impact. Instead, turned the market to look pretty bullish so yeah guys hit me up in the comments below let me know what you thought about the um fomc meeting um let me know what you thought about the you know the the interest rates that were announced and um yeah hit that like hit that subscribe and i will catch you in the next video peace out